So, Medieval was announced on this year's E3. Okay then, no big deal, no big sin. I got the hooks in. And why? I'll explain in a second. But first, quick little thing. Yes, this video has a French title as well as a French subtitle and I did that actually in help of Spokes123, with whom I collaborated on this video. He came up with the idea to add some French subs on here and also provided me with some screenshots of a conversation with him and Chris Sorrell, the creator of Medio. But more about that in a second. Oh, and also follow Spokes123, without him this video would have not been made. So let's go! We all know that Medieval wasn't shown on this year's E3, which seriously is a damn shame, because nothing was even shown at the Sony PlayStation Paris conference this year too. Which then caused the massive rise of Medieval Twitter pages. For whatever reason. But yeah, you guys can imagine how I felt when I didn't saw a new Medieval game announced. I felt disappointed, but on the other hand, kinda expected that to happen, seeing as it would have been Maybe a little too early to announce a new Medieval game this year, since the 20th anniversary of Medieval is on October of next year. In fact, Sony likes to reveal huge titles such as Medieval on the PlayStation Experience, where they showed also Parappa the Rapper and Crash and Saint Trilogy last year. So there's that, I guess. But again, don't expect too much, it might not even get announced on PSX. But possibly on E3 2018, hmm? Seeing as it would be more suitable to announce it next year. But another question comes to me again when talking about Medieval. In my last video I mentioned that Sansaru games would be good as the developers of a new Medieval game, due to me already having experience with Sansaru games. I mean hey, they brought one of my favorite franchises of all time back to life and made a new game that was pretty damn close to the original three games. And that game was Sly 4! And that can turn out to be my favorite in the franchise. But well, for whatever reason people on Twitter want the developers of Little Nightmare to make a new medieval game. And you know what? They could do a great job as well, I guess. I would also suggest Media Molecule, seeing as they're from England, just like the medieval franchise, and they created games such as Tyria Way and Ludwig Platt. Two games which I think have a pretty awesome art style. But why not the original developers instead, some people may ask. Well, I got sad news for you guys. Spokes123 sent me these screenshots where Chris Sorrell stated following things. Hi Tom, no worries about your English. I wish my French was half as good. Smiley. Dot dot dot. Yes. I was originally the creative lead on Many Evil, and I'm always happy to see that people remember the game so fondly. However, I haven't worked at Sony for about 10 years now. In fact, everyone that worked with me on Medieval are now spread all over the world. I wouldn't personally expect to see Sony make a new Medieval game, because we couldn't convince them to let us make another one back when I was still there. So without anyone to champion the idea of now seems even less likely. In brackets. Plus I'd be afraid that any new team would truly get the IP and it wouldn't meet our expectation. It's awesome to see the talent and dedication behind those fans. Projects though. Perhaps one of these talented teams will create a spiritual successor to Medieval one day. All the best, your pal Chris Rell. So like this man said himself, Everybody who worked at Medieval is spread all over the world, so sadly we can't expect to see a game by the original developers anytime soon. I also tried to contact Jason Wilson, the artist of the original two games, but sadly with no success whatsoever. Anyway, guys, it's cool to see many people across the globe is trying to convince Sony to make a new Medieval game. It shows how big the demand for a new game is, and how strong this franchise contributed good memories into some people's childhoods. Before I go, I wanted to promote the medieval Amino group. Amino is an app where people can find communities of their favorite things, including medieval. It's absolutely free and anybody can join it. Also, Chris Sorrell is making a new video game, just in case if somebody wants to know what he's do currently doing. Here is the answer. Anyways, I was your old pal Toxic Vermin and I see ya in my next video. Share, like, subscribe and follow me on my Twitter if you guys want to. Good night.